Hi, this is Amrita here and welcome to the software engineering lecture. So let's get started with the topic FPA uh, function point analysis. After the finalization of SRS, you would like to estimate size, development, time of the project. The estimation of size is very critical and difficult area of the project planning. Common methods for size estimation are lines of code and function coin, function count. Here I am going to brief about the uh, function counts. FPA function point analysis. Function point analysis is an accepted standard for the measurement of software size in software engineering. FPA is a reliable method for measuring the size of the computer software. These are the special features of the FPA. Function point approach is independent of the language, tool or methodologies used for implementation. That is, they don't take into consideration programming language, database management system, processing hardware or any other database technology. Function points can be estimated from requirement specification or design specification. So making it uh, uh, possible to estimate development effort in early phases of the development. Function points are directly linked to the statement of requirements. Any change of the requirements can easily be followed by re-estimate. Function points are based on the system user external view of the system. Non-technical user of the software system have a better understanding of what function points are measuring. So uh, FPA method resolves many of the inconsistency that arise when using the lines of code as a software size measure. FPA essentially measures functionality that the user requests and receives. F uh, According to this, uh, according to this FPA, the system is decomposed into five functional units: input, output, inquiry, internal logical files, ex and external interfaces. The five function units are derived into two categories: transaction function type and data function types. In this external input, external input, uh, it is denoted as a EI an EI process data or control information that comes from the outside the system. External output EO and EO is a elementary process that generates data or control information to be sent outside the system. External inquiries it is denoted by EQ and EQ is a elementary process that is made up of an input output combination that results in data retrievals. Internal logical files ILF, a user identifiable group logical related data or control information maintained within the system. External logical files EIF, a user identifiable group of logical related data or control information referenced by the system but maintained within another system. So according to this uh, FPA, uh, these are the two categories of five functional units. FPA uh, the general approach that FPA follows firstly count the number of input output inquiries internal files and interfaces required and calculate the UFP unadjusted function point and the next is then calculate the AFP adjusted function point by multiplying these counts by adjustment factor means the adjustment function point is equal to unadjusted function point multiplied by CAF complexity adjustment factor. Now I'm going to uh, now I'm going to explain the process to finding the UFP unadjusted function point. The this is the function units with weighting factors. It's a standard table. The five function units are ranked according to their complexity, low, average or high using a set of prescriptive standards. So the question is that 
who will decide that uh, uh, external input output or interfaces are low type or average type or high type so the answer is organization that use fp method develop criteria for determining whether a particular entry is low average or high after classifying each of the five function type the unadjusted function points are calculated using predefined weights for each function type as given in this standard table it can be understood by a simple example uh, suppose we have an external input is 10 which has a low complexity and in this table external input of low type weighting factor is 3 so 10 is multiplied by 3 right next is external output which has a high complexity external output high complexity means the weighting factor is 7 so 13 multiplied by 7 next is external inquiry which has the average complexity means external inquiry average weighting factor is 4 so 4 multiplied by 4 next is external inquiry is 2 which has a high complexity external inquiry high complexity weighting factor is 6 so 2 multiplied by 6 next is internal ilf internal logical files internal logical files which has a average complexity internal logical files average weighting factor is 10 so 2 multiplied by 10 next uh, and the last is eif external interface files 9 which has a low complexity and the weighting factor for this is 5 so 9 multiplied by 5 that is 45 so total unadjusted function point is 214 ufp is equal to 214 this particular example this is the scenario for a particular software here the count for a external input is 27 and uh, the count for a external output is 15 and the external inquiry is 8 count for a internal logical files is 40 and uh, count for a external interface file is 20 based on the weighting factors so the total ufp for this scenario is 110 now now i'm going to uh, now i'm going to calculate the caf complexity adjustment factor uh, is equal to this particular equation 0 0.65, uh, 0 0.65 plus 0 0.01 multiplied by summation f5 where f5 is the total complexity adjustment value this fi are the degree of influence and are based on the responses to the standard 14 questions it can be understood by this uh, response of each questions will count on a scale of 0 to 5 0 that means no influence 1 is incidental 2 will give the, uh, 2 for the moderate 3 for the average 4 significance and 5 is essential for example the first question is does the system require reliable backup and recovery suppose the answer of this question is moderate so the the f1 value is 2 next is is data communication required for example the answer of this question is average so f2 is equal to 3 so in this way response of each questions will count uh, will count on a scale of 0 to 5 uh, it can be understand by a by this example this is a scenario and uh, the first question is backup and recovery so the answer of this question is incidental so we will provide a value 1 to this question f1 is equal to 1 the next question is data communications the uh, suppose the answer is moderate so that is 2 next is distributed processing uh, suppose the answer is again moderate so the 2 is provided 2 value this in question 3 next is performance critical and suppose the answer is essential so the f4 is equal to 5 next is existing operating environment suppose the answer is uh, average so that is 3 in this way we will count 
the value from f1 to f14 right and the summation of these f1 to f14 find the total complex state adjustment value that is 46 for this example now put this summation if a value and we will calculate the caf CF is equal to 0.65 plus 0 0.01 multiplied by 46, 46 and equal to 1.11. Now we have to find the adjusted function point AFP is equal to UFP multiplied by the cumulative adjustment factor. So total adjustment factor points is 1 to 2 for this particular scenario. Now uh, Take another example to understand the concept, uh, to understand the finding the value of the function point analysis. So this is a project, uh, the number of user input 50, number of output 40, inquiries 35, file 6, interfaces 4, assume all complex adjustment factor and weighting factors are average type. So uh, average type. So firstly number of user input 50, 50 multiply by average, the average weighting factor for external input is 4, so 50 multiply by 4 plus, plus 40 multiply by 5, it will calculate the, in this way we, will, we can calculate the UFP, UFP 628 and now we have to calculate the complexity adjustment factor CAF by this formula. In this case, summation Fy, the uh, weighting factor are average, complexity adjustment factor are average type, means the all answer has 3 according to the scale 14 into 3, 1.07. Now we can calculate the uh, adjustment AFP multiply by AFP is equal to UFP multiply by CF. The answer is. 672 this is another example so pause this slides and uh, calculate the an adjusted and adjusted function point and match your answer with the next slides and this is the answer for this example these are the reference if you have any questions and doubt related with this video, post your questions in the comment section. I hope this video given you useful information. If it is, like this video, subscribe this channel for such videos. Thank you.